Today, Moscow is a metropolis of over 11 million people. But 800 years ago, it was a small village on the banks of the Moskva River. A modest settlement surrounded by simple wooden defenses. It gave little indication of its future greatness or its ability to evolve through adversity. Moscow was frequently attacked and destroyed. Yet each time, it rose from the ashes, stronger and better defended. Its first real test came in 1238. This time, they faced a new enemy, the Mongols. Moscow had been largely unaware of the growing threat in Central Asia. Genghis Khan, founder of the Great Mongol Empire, had conquered most of the Asian continent. His descendants continued his work to expand the empire. His grandson, Batu Khan, led the armies of what would become known as the Golden Horde. Their goal, to extract money from principalities they conquered. One by one, states in the region, known collectively as the Rus, fell to the Golden Horde. Moscow was next. In 1238, the Mongol Golden Horde surrounded Moscow and besieged its wooden walls. It would only hold out for five days. Moscow burned. That could have been the end of its story, but the people of Moscow were resilient. They would not give up their home or their control of the Moskva River, an important trade route. They began to rebuild and strengthen Moscow's defenses. Yet one question remained. Would the terror return? <laughs> Moscow faced certain ruin as Mongol raiders burned their way through the wooden city. With no other ruse coming to their aid, it was up to the people of Moscow to drive away their attackers and beat out the flames. The remaining Mongols were driven away by the tenacious Muscovites.
With the Mongol raiders repelled and the fires extinguished, the Muscovites began rebuilding. The Muscovites knew that they could rapidly construct buildings out of wood, and so gathered what they needed from the forest. The woods surrounding Moscow provided an abundance of resources, but danger lurked within. Predators stalked in the shadows looking for an easy meal. Several villagers had fled during the Mongol attack, and some were still in hiding. The fleeing villagers had taken refuge in forest hunting cabins. Here, the Muscovites could bring valuable animal pelts, which provided them a good livelihood. As the city rose from the ashes, the Muscovites would lay the foundations for a unique fortified complex. This iconic structure would be known as the Kremlin. The once unassuming village of Moscow had been rebuilt as a city poised for growth. But to protect the city from further Mongol raids, it would need a fierce military and a strong defensive perimeter. The Muscovites knew that the terror from the steppe could return at any time.
having been caught off guard by the Mongols before. The Muscovites knew they could come under attack at any moment. Strong defenses would give them a better chance of protecting their city. Приуготовляйтесь, 
Чего делать? Готовы идти. Слушайте. Чего делать? Люди, служите, готовы. Я построю сие. Радуйся. Приуготовляйтесь все. Люди, служите, готовы. Я построю сие. Люди, здесь. Закрышись, да, Воин, надо найти, что именно есть. Исправляйтесь, напрежь, воини! Слушайся! Приходите! Исправляйтесь! Грядите, воини! Делали? Лучник готов есть! Вот трое насадник готов Hearing the foreboding beat of the Mongol war drums, the Muscovites braced themselves for another raid. Слушайте, 
Muscovites had successfully defended their newly built city against the Mongol raid. Now that Moscow could defend itself, its rulers looked to expand their influence into new territories. <laughs> 